Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. Refrigerator compressors need several components to start and run properly. If you've verified that the relay, overload protector, or the capacitor is faulty and can't find an exact replacement, then you can install a 3-in-1 universal relay. Now, if you want a complete guide on how to test all the start components, then you can watch our compressor troubleshooting guide. The video is linked in the description below. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver and wire strippers. First, slide the refrigerator out from the wall. When there is enough room, unplug the cord to disconnect the power. In some models, you might need to remove the water supply line to gain access to the back. Close the shutoff valve to turn off the water supply. Next, use an adjustable wrench to loosen and remove the supply line. Let any remaining water drain into a plastic container. Now, slide the fridge all the way out so you have plenty of room to work. On the back of the refrigerator is an access panel. Use a 1 quarter inch nut driver to remove the screws. Now simply lift up to remove the panel. When accessing the compressor components, it's best to wear cut resistant gloves. In some models, you'll have to remove a cover. The capacitor stores and releases an electrical charge, so be careful of any exposed terminals as it can still give a shock. Before anything else, use a high ohm resistor or a screwdriver with an insulated handle. Touch between the two terminals to release any stored energy inside the capacitor. Now take a picture of the wires for reference. Next, remove the start relay and capacitor. Now disconnect the wires. In other models, the capacitor will be mounted directly on the relay. In this case, you'll have to remove the retaining clip. Next, remove the capacitor and relay. Now, separate the capacitor from the relay. Finally, discharge the capacitor. Look at the nameplate on the side of the compressor. Always match the horsepower rating of your compressor with the universal starter. The 3-in-1 kit only comes with a start capacitor. If your model has a run capacitor, then it's best to keep it connected. If your model has an inverter board connected to the compressor, then you have a variable speed compressor. These are not compatible with 3-in-1 starter kits. You can learn more about the inverter board in the video linked below. On the compressor, you'll see three terminals in either an upward or downward orientation. There's one terminal for the common, one for the start winding, and another for the run winding. Make sure to get this right. If the starter is wired incorrectly, it can damage the compressor. On the side of the universal starter is a wiring diagram that you can use as a reference. First, connect the black wire to the common terminal. Next, connect the white wire to the start winding. Now connect the red wire to the run winding. Some universal kits have extra connections for the run capacitor. If you have a run capacitor, then connect it to the two terminals attached to the red and white wires. The two black wires without connectors will attach to the cold control wires. Using wire strippers, strip 
about a half an inch of insulation off the ends of the wires. Now align the wire nuts and twist them together. Next, place the 3-in-1 kit and the capacitor next to the compressor. Try to give it some space as this will keep the components from getting too hot. Align the back panel onto the mounting tabs. Now tighten the screws. Reconnect the water supply and tighten the connection. Open the shutoff valve. Plug in the cord to reconnect the power. Now slide it back into place. Make sure to leave a couple of inches of space between the refrigerator and the wall. This will allow for proper airflow. Now test the refrigerator to see if it's working properly. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.